Okay. Aries, what's up? What's up? If this is your first time joining me in my channel, Aries, welcome. I am Virgo Goddess Medium. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, Aries? This video is going to be for my Aries. Uh, last week of March, moving into April, Aries. I feel very positive about you, Aries. I'm not getting nothing. I'm not picking up on nothing negative from my Aries. Um... Aries, I see things looking good for my Aries. Um, some of my Aries, somebody recently got engaged. Congratulations. I see somebody planning for a wedding or somebody just got married. Um, I'm seeing the colors, um, the wedding color theme, like peach and ivory. Um, I'm seeing like the date, May 13th. I don't know what that day is about, May 13th. Um, it may be regarding to a mother or a grandmother's birthday. Somebody's wanting to honor a grandmother or mother May 13th. Um, I'm seeing somebody just gave birth recently. Um, gave birth to a little girl. I see the doctor retrieving the baby, putting her on mom's chest. Mom is very happy about that. So if you're having a little girl or you just recently had a little girl, congratulations. Or if you're having one, congratulations. Um, I see my Aries being happy in a relationship. I see my Aries traveling, uh, this summer, going on vacation this summer with someone who you really care about. Um, I see my Aries where you kind of met somebody and, um, in the beginning when you first met, you met at like a, um, like a coffee shop. Like I want to say something like a Barnes and Nobles atmosphere where you two kind of met um, got to know one another. Um, a lot of good things. Um, Aries men. I see somebody um, like landscaping. Someone landscapes for a living. Or you're either um, looking at property. And you're looking at the landscape surrounding the home. Okay. Aries, I really see you focus on, like, career and money opportunities. Okay. Um, what do we have for my Aries? Let me just see what that card was. Maybe somebody might have just, like, broke up with somebody. I don't know. I'm not really picking up on nothing bad for my Aries. I'm not. I'm really not. And so I don't even want to sit here and say anything bad because I'm not picking up on nothing bad, Aries. I'm picking up on good things for my Aries. You're reading, um, the energy is very, uh, very good. I see someone who's hardworking and driven. Let me see. Yeah, because you got the uh, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, um, Two of Pentacles, having to make a decision, you know, where it involves um, being able to provide for your family, Ace of Wands. Yeah, two is your number, Two of Wands, the Sun card, okay. Aries. Definitely see good things. Yeah, love is card, Aries. Like I said, traveling long distance. I don't know why Aries, the uh, Eight of Pentacles want to come out, Aries. I don't know. Maybe somebody... Uh, may have gone through a past situation that stressed you out and you got tired and got fed up and felt the need to leave and found yourself having to guard your territory and you left a dysfunctional situation or somebody could be tangled up in a dysfunctional situation but you got the magician mm. somebody uh Got the door closed. Maybe an Aries walked away from a situation. I don't, I'm not really picking up on nothing bad, Aries. I'm not. You know? 
Maybe one or two of you might have uh, gone through a past situation. I'm not picking up on nothing bad for my Aries. Aries, I see you surrounded with love, Aries. I see you traveling. Um, new birth, new beginnings, working hard, achieving your goals. You know, um, building strong family foundations for my Aries. I'm not picking up on nothing bad for my Aries. I'm not. You know what I mean? Let me... Let me see what else I got in the other deck of cards, Aries. Because I'm not picking up on nothing bad for my Aries. I'm not, Spirit. What do we have for my Aries? What do we have? Because I'm picking up on love and traveling. I'm picking up on business. Um, Aries, somebody has a strong mother or grandmother who passed away who's watching over you, Aries. Okay. Um... You may have somebody who's trying to figure out how to approach you, Aries. Okay. Some of my Aries, you're just kind of sitting back waiting for like the spring, the summer, to like really make a move. Um... I don't see my Aries uh, going through anything bad. If you did have a situation, Aries, I kind of feel like it's behind you. I don't see my Aries holding on to anything. I'm not feeling like you're holding on to anything. Aries, I kind of see you focus like on business opportunity, love, marriage, commitment, um... Mm. What am I picking up for my Aries? Mm. Anything negative? Anything dark? Spirit, what's going on with Aries? You know, I'm seeing the good stuff. You know, I'm seeing love and happiness. Um, work, stability. Marriage. Uh, new births, new beginnings. Babies, weddings. Mmm. Like I said, a strong mother, grandmother figure looking over you, Aries. You know? Somebody may have had like a situation, maybe perhaps that it involved, uh, it could in, in your past, you might have dealt with a little something, something in your past that involved a hurry party situation where um you was missing somebody and wanting to start over and kind of uh yeah Aries, you, somebody might have been in their feelings because i am seeing a three-party situation aries where you kind of wanting to come in from a distance and um wanting to kind of start over wanting to have a reunion aries i see you in your feelings you're thinking about this person aries you all wanting to have a reunion so one or two of you may be um contemplating what to do next on when it comes to celebrating your love for this person i am seeing that because in the past aries you I, I see the devil card um you might have dealt with some situations where you was tempted you know or you may be getting tempted by somebody but i'm kind of feeling like um either somebody walked out on you aries or you could have walked out on them. Um, I'm seeing the door being closed. Um, some disloyalty took place because I'm seeing the disloyalty card, Aries. So I, I am seeing some um, betrayal. I'm seeing some closed doors. I'm seeing some three party situations. Um, yeah, somebody feeling with like their hands is tied, Aries. I am seeing that. Um, some due to somebody keeping secrets, somebody lied and cheated. I, I am seeing that, okay. Um, but I'm kind of seeing the wheel turn in your favor, cause I saw that one pop out. Somebody might still feel a little bit trapped and isolated, okay. No, no, that's not many of you guys, cause like I said, I do see somebody um getting married. 
wedding color peach and cream i saw somebody giving birth to a little girl i saw somebody traveling i saw a couple meeting in like a barnes and nobles coffee atmosphere the date may 13th stands out aries somebody's uh landscaping and looking at property look at the landscapes surrounding the property i am seeing that but like i said yeah somebody is on block somebody uh you're dealing with someone who has you on block Perhaps someone who ghosted you, or you ghosted them, or you put them on block. Um, this, yeah, this is a past person. Um, this next one is a past person that you dealt with. Three party situations. Um, I'm seeing that. Yeah, I, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. And this person might have been a, a a Leo that you dealt with. Don't have to be. I'm picking up, yeah, Leo, Pisces, okay, okay, Aries, dealing with a Leo, Pisces, or a Capricorn, okay, let me see, yeah, you're definitely pouring out your cups, no longer looking at your options, you, you kind of got your mind stuck on this one person, okay, But, um, let me see, spirit, when it comes to Aries person, right, are they getting back together? This reunion that Aries is wanting to have. You want to restore a give and take situation, Aries. Spirit, do you see Aries getting back together with their person? See the world card. Hmm. See somebody walking away from a situation, Aries. I see somebody walking away from this. Well, I don't know if that's you or your person, Aries. Somebody is walking away from a situation, wants to walk away from it. Conflict. Somebody's trying to get away from the conflict. Somebody's tired of grieving, uh, Aries. I don't know if that's you or your person. Somebody's tired of grieving. Somebody wants to walk away from the situation. Your situation did involve a three-party situation, but I see that three-party situation is like over and dealt with. Um, doors closed on that. What's this? Page. Yeah, trying to figure out a way how to uh, approach the situation again because of an ending. An uh, ending that took place, Aries. Okay? And that don't have to be for all of y'all. That could just be for a few. Okay? So, Spirit, how do you see this situation between Aries and a person moving forward into April of 2020 and coming in from a distance? Okay. Ooh, toxic person, like I said, Capricorn. You definitely are going through a reunion, like not the reunion, but you're definitely thinking about the good times. I want to say you're thinking about the good times. Okay. And for some of you, justice has been served. Okay, page of swords. Um, no longer dealing with our edible situations. Strong Aries. Because like I said, a lot of my, my Aries is strong. You got king and the queen. Okay. Mm hmm in the past, you might have been mourning and grieving this situation, but nothing serious. Um, just kind of like some of you may be holding on to the past situation, Aries. And like I said, I see some of you working hard. Um, some of you, like I said, are very self-sufficient and independent. You're not really in need of nobody, Aries. But you are uh, wanting to celebrate. Okay. Yeah, wanting to release your burdens. Yeah, I see that. I, I, I see, like I said, I see the betrayal in the uh, deceit. Okay, somebody where they were stabbed in the back. I do see that. Okay, 
from somebody cheating on him. This person lives a distance. I, and I see, I see the conflict. I see the burdens. I see somebody being wounded. Okay? And they feeling somebody's unblocked. Somebody's um wanting to start over and just put their options to the side. Yeah, that with free party situation. This could be same sex. It don't have to be somebody's like dealing with a shadow side. Trying to figure out weighing, weighing the pros and the cons. Okay. Like I said, dealing with the Pisces. Which way is the wheel going to turn? Somebody's wanting to walk away because they're tired of being stabbed. Somebody else is rushing in. Contemplating on what to, new de uh, what to do next. Aries, you're very self-sufficient. Like I said, independent. Somebody's um daydreaming. Thinking about the past. Missing you. Aries, you somebody who's strong. You're not looking back. You're not putting up with the BS. Somebody's feeling stuck, trapped. That don't have to be you. Or it could be you. Or it could be a person. Because um, in the past, you dealt with somebody who was in and out. This person is from a distance. Okay. This person had options. Okay. Now, somehow, wanting to put back the balance. Focused on your coins. Yeah, wanting a reunion. Like I said, yeah, definitely wanting to restore some type of balance. Wanting to uh, begin a new journey. Okay. Feeling guarded because you don't trust nobody. Okay, so you having trust issues or you had some trust issues with a person in the past. And it caused a tower moment. And you're very intuitive when it comes to how you feel about this person or told this person. Because, yeah, this person was deceitful and disloyal and betrayed you and lied to you. And maybe once upon a time you guys had a happy home. But then something happened where... uh. Your home was shattered where somebody might have came in and affected the home situation. Now, Aries, long story short, you've overcome all that. So you're not looking back to none of that. Your temperance. Um, either you, you or somebody could want to come in to restore Ten of Cups. Or you could, because I see here where somebody left the situation because the situation was very dysfunctional. Okay, but now somebody's wanting to take a leap of faith. Somebody's uh way for communication wanting to come toward with you or this person is thinking about coming to see you and knock on the door. Somebody's on her mode. You could have been dealing with also a Virgo. Yeah, trying to figure out what you're gonna do have when it comes to making a decision. Mm-hmm, involving a lover, whether that's a past lover or a new lover. I'm kind of seeing this as a past lover. Okay, but Aries, you're strong. Your hands are no longer tied, but this person can have their hands. Yeah, Aries, your hands are not tied in this situation, but however, the person you're dealing with got their hands tied when they come to you because they see you as having the door closed. Okay? But Aries, you seeing yourself going forward. Like I said, some of you could have been dealing with a Leo. So um, I did pick up on what, Leo... Virgo, and you also have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? And some of you may be dealing with a cancer. Okay. I'm also picking up Scorpio. I don't know why. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries. Or you can have Scorpio on your chart. Don't have to be. Yeah. Um. So, Aries. Some of you are uh, doing good, moving forward. You know, new beginnings, getting married, giving birth, uh, family affairs, um, new home front projects. Um, work front is good. Some of you dealt with a past person where um, somebody cheated in a marriage. And it affected the home front. Where once upon a time you had balance in your in your home but because you let this other person come in and intervene, became a third party where it affected the balance, causing you to be unstable and kind of took things and made it unbalanced where you begin to lack stability, Aries. And so now I'm kind of seeing you wanting to uh, 
restore back some type of balance and some type of faith and some type of security where you're wanting to fix what was broken and start over and remove that third party that was a three-party situation. But you're not sure how the other person is going to feel about it or, you know, what their thoughts are. But I do see you kind of contemplating your thoughts on whether or not you should reach out to this person because you're wanting to know if you reach out to this person, will they respond to your call or your text? And so you're wanting to kind of know what's the next step to take when it um involves your person, Aries. Um, how does this person feel about you? Like I said, right now, the person kind of got the door closed because they don't want to look back on the situation because it was considered toxic. You know, because they are the way that you, uh, you let the three-party situation intervene and cause your household to fall. So, um, they're still holding on to that. I think your person is still holding on to the past regret and the past hurt and pain. So, it's going to take a little more time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would say fall back for right now. Kind of work on yourself. But, uh, maybe think about, you know, you might want to send a gift, you know, flowers, that sort of thing. You know, you might want to look into, like, sending a gift and probably mailing something to that person. And surprising them with a gift and kind of start like that. Okay, Aries. Um, but all in all, moving forward, for some of you, like I said, things do look good as far as like May and June. I see some good things come into play. Um, for some of you, August, September, um, enrolling kids in school. You may be in a new home come August, September, if not before. Okay. But, um... This is where I'm going to stop your reading, okay, um, Aries? So once again, if this resonates with you, please feel free to hit the like button. As always, subscribe. Also, feel free to invite other people to my channel. And, and if, you know, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am Virgo Goddess Median. As always, love and God bless. I'm out.